Hey guys and welcome back to part 5 of the production tutorial series. Today we're going to be looking at synthesis yet again and again we're going to be using Native Instruments Massive to create the sound. We're actually going to be focusing on brass today and trying to create a nice brass patch that's not a million miles away from the sort of Toto Africa brass sound which has become quite famous. Um, the actual sound sounds like this. <laughs> And we've also got some cutoff adjustment as well, so we can brighten it up if we need to, so we can have... Okay, so it's a very simple sound as always. It's just two saw waves going into the filters with a little bit of modulation via LFO on the pitch and some envelope on the filters. So let's get started. We'll go File, New Sound. And we're going to make sure Oscillator 1 is set to Square Saw 1, which it should be by default and the wavetable position is all the way to the right. And we're going to push this one into filter 1. I'm going to turn on oscillator 2, and again it should be square saw 1, with the wavetable all the way to the right to give us a saw wave. And I'm going to push this one into filter 1 as well. And I'm going to detune this by 10 cents, just so the two oscillators are slightly detuned from each other. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is set up the amp envelope. So I'm going to go to envelope 4, and let's make a couple of changes here. We're just going to bring the attack up slightly until it's about 10 o'clock. And we're going to bring the decay to about 2 o'clock. And the level we're going to bring down until it's just past 12 o'clock, between 12 and 1 o'clock. And the release we're going to bring up a little bit to about 11 o'clock. Okay, next thing we're going to do is modulate the pitch of the two oscillators slightly. So let's go to LFO5, and we're going to push the crossfade curve all the way up, because we only want the top sine wave, and we're going to drag that so it's peaking in the middle. And we're going to bring the rate to about 11 o'clock, and the amp to about 2 o'clock, between 1 and 2 o'clock. And I'm going to sign this LFO to oscillator 1 and 2, so let's click on the D-pad and assign it to oscillator 1 and again to oscillator 2. And I'm going to modulate these by just 12 cents for each, just to give us a little bit of pitch drift on each oscillator. Okay, the next thing to do is to set up the voicing tab. So let's go into the voicing tab now. And we're going to change the unisono to 2. And we're going to turn the pan position on and drag it all the way to the right to give us a really wide stereo field for the sound. And we're going to make a couple of changes in the oscillator tab as well. So let's go to oscillator. And we want to basically deassign the two vibratos from the macro controllers that they're set to. So right click on the one and click off. And the same for depth as well. And all we're going to do is we're just going to bring the depth up a tiny bit more so it's got its own sense of vibrato without us having to modulate it separately. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is set up the filters now. So let's go to filter 1. And first of all, we're going to make sure that filters are working in serial or series. And we're going to assign a low pass 4 to filter 1. And we're going to bring the cutoff all the way down and the resonance all the way down. And for filter 2, we're going to use filter 2 basically to change the brightness of the overall sound. And we're going to use filter 1 to shape the sound. So again, low pass 4 on filter 2. And we're going to bring the cutoff this time to about 2 o'clock. And the resonance all the way down. And we're also going to set the volume of filter 2 all the way up. And bring the mix slider down to mix 2 because we want the sound coming out of the second filter and into the mix stage and we only want to hear the second filter. Okay, so now we've got the filter set up we need to adjust them slightly with an envelope to get the sound we want. So let's go to envelope 1 and what we're going to do here is we're going to bring the attack up to about just past 10 o'clock. We're going to adjust the decay a tiny bit and bring the level down to about 11 o'clock. We're also going to bring the release right up to 11 o'clock as well. Okay, that should do. 
Now we're going to assign this to the filter one cutoff. So what we're going to do is click on the D-pad for envelope one and assign it to cutoff. And we're going to click and hold and drag all the way up. So we're getting the blue line all the way around the filter cutoff knob. Okay, so if I play quickly. Okay, we're definitely getting a kind of brassy sound now. So let's just bring the main volume down a little bit because it's clipping. Okay, next thing to do is just to set up a quick macro controller on filter 2 cutoff so we can adjust that on the fly if we want to. So we're going to go down to the vibrato macro and we're going to rename that cutoff. And we're going to assign that to the filter 2 cutoff. And we're going to click and drag all the way up. So it's going between full open and where it's positioned at the moment. And we're just going to make sure the cutoff is assigned to our mod wheel. So we're going to right click on the macro controller and do MIDI learn. And we're going to move the mod wheel or whichever controller you want to use to modulate that. Okay, so now we can... Okay, so that's pretty much everything set up for the sound. Now it's just some effects left to do. So we're going to go to effect one. And we're going to choose chorus and we're going to bring the dry wet to about nine o'clock i'm going to bring the rate to about ten o'clock depth we're going to uh, the offset we're going to leave untouched and we're going to bring the depth down to about ten o'clock okay for the second effect we're going to use some reverb so let's choose a normal reverb and we're going to bring the dry wet right down Size, we're just going to bring to about 11 o'clock. Density, we'll leave the same. And color, we'll bring down to about 10 o'clock. And finally, just to tweak the sound a little bit further, let's add some EQ. So turn on the EQ. And we're going to boost the bottom end slightly with the low shelf. And we're just going to give it a little bit of top end as well. Okay, and with that, I think that's pretty much everything for the sound. So if we play, it should be... Okay, anyway, that was it for this tutorial, and I hope you found it useful. Stay tuned for the next one.